Now it's not surprising that su such a lot of money is put into car advertising, especially on television and at the cinema. Fantastic quality adverts. And you don't have to be a psychiatrist to work out who the particular advert is aimed at. If you study them, if you, if you can be bothered, um, you know, they might be aimed at young women, you know, first time drivers, you know, between that age of, uh, I don't know, um, 17 and, uh, uh, and uh, when they settle down, <laughs> so if they, people do settle down nowadays. Or, or they might be aimed at young men, or they might be aimed at the family man. And I don't think it's often aimed at the family woman, but sometimes it might be aimed at the, um, the business woman, perhaps the woman who's, uh, who's had a family and is now divorced. And sometimes they might even be aimed at the older driver. But as I say, you don't have to be a psychiatrist to work out who they're aimed at. You just have to be aware that they're a particular advert is aimed at a particular audience. The reason um, so much money goes into uh, car advertising is because the car will be the second most expensive thing that you buy, second after the house. And of course you can buy a car on HP. If you buy a new, what, buy a new one, buy a good second hand one. But there's a particular advert which I've been rather taken with just at the moment, which is going, doing the rounds on television. And it's a sort of SUV, sports utility vehicle. A small one, it's not like a, a, a Range Rover or anything like that. It's a small one. And, and um, it says that you can become a different person if you have this car. Become a different person. And the sort of person it's suggesting you become is, is, is a person who does surfing and, and um, outdoor pursuit type things, you know. And it is true, isn't it, that if you get a certain sort of car, you become something of that car. A car becomes a bit like clothing you get inside it, it's a cocoon, and the car represents you. So if you get the top of the range Mercedes, or a Jaguar, or a BMW, or even a Rolls Royce, um, what you're saying is that you have arrived. You are a real person in the real world, and you're doing real things. It's quite funny on the X Factor programme, or Britain's Got Talent and that, and they, they'll, they'll arrive at the studio in, in a fleet of Rolls Royces. You know, they won't, have, they won't just be uh, one Rolls Royce, they'll each have a Rolls Royce. And, and that says more about you or the programme. Um, quite often salesmen, sales reps, um, they will have a big luxury car. And what it's saying is, if you buy the product which I'm selling, you'll be like me, you will get a big luxury car. Um, so there's a lot going on. I mean, it, as I say, it's a bit like clothing. And if you dress really smart, you feel a different person to if you dress rubbish. But, in some ways it is a myth, in some ways it's true that you do become the different person with the new car and the new clothes, but in other ways you are the same person. Um, and even inside that, those clothes, inside that car, there's a little homunculus inside the brain who knows you're not quite who you're saying you are. Now why would someone want to become a different person? because they're not happy with the person they are. Um, and of course you can't really become a different person. You can tweak, you can tweak the person that you are. It's a very gradual process, 
but to actually become a completely different person, I don't think it's quite true. You know, this is a bit like adolescence, isn't it? That as an as a as a young person, you're coming to terms with yourself, and you're not quite happy with yourself, and you'd like to be that other person. Now, how can I be like that? Be that other person. I know I'll, I'll try to do the things that they do and say the things that they say, but it doesn't quite work. You might pick up one or two of their traits, and uh, that's a good idea to pick up traits, the good traits from other people. So always be on the lookout to see how other people solve different problems and and how they get pleasure and and um, how, how they become a successful person. So just because you are you, it doesn't mean that you are doomed. You are all right. I am all right. Everybody's all right. You've just got to tweak the edges to make yourself fit into this world. <laughs> right, bye for now.